click on this subscribe button to watch more videos on my youtube channel and also click on this bell icon to get all notifications on your mail in this video i am going to explain part design workbench one of the tutorial and go on to the mechanical design and go on to the part design workbench already explained the, some of the basic tutorials and go on to the enable the hybrid design and click on ok i want to explain the part design of transformation features in this tutorial and let's get started after that i am going to the xy plane over here you can do the one of the sketch over here to develop the 3d model i am giving, going with the straight type of uh, one of the rectangle i created you want to create the dimensions you can also create the dimensions by using the constraint tool after that you can observe that one of the tool is i am clicking on the pad definition and go to the mirror extend and click on ok or some of the dimension and go to the i am creating the three all the surfaces i want to go with the chamfer definition and you can observe the uh, features over here on the chamfer definition and go to the tangency and go to the length of 10 mm and click on ok see i am giving the one of the 10 mm distance from the chamfer of uh, created some of the sharp edges is not created again i am selecting the sharp edges over here and again i am going to the chamfer definition and same as constant on the default and click on ok one of the chamfer definition is created why this is not created because the the sharp edges are uh, already created on the other edges then only it is not created it uh, showing the one of the dialog box over here you can observe the one of the diamond type of object is created by using the model and again i'm selecting the individual objects like this this is uh, okay and click on the chamfer definition and click on okay how oh, that is possible because the other side is already created we are we are already again it is selected then only it is not created exactly and go to the shell definition and click on the um, top of the view and one mm thickness of the shell is created of the total model what you created this is the one of the sample model i created uh, then i'm going with the transformation features i want to explain this tutorial and go to the surface based features so you can observe the different types of uh, features also available in the surface uh, check out my previous tutorial and you can observe the one of the profile of created and the one of the solid model is created of the different type of model like diamond type of uh, plastic object like this and go on to the transformation this is the transformation i want to explain this is the translation the one is translation i want to click the translation and click on s you can observe the direction and the distance and the vector definition i want to give the direction distance first and uh, i want to give the direction definition distance of the vector definition and go on to the direction over here and the distance i want to create before to explain the translate definition you should create the one of the axis system over here and go to the insert you can observe the axis system and click on the axis system and the origin of uh, selected and the origin is the center point of the x y z of the plane and the one of the uh, axis system is created you want to hide through the planes you can also create by using the x y z axis also you don't require the a plane this is also a simple method to develop the x-ray planes is identified is different but axis system is very simply you can identify and go into the direct distance and i'm selecting the one of the distance of the axis system or the zx plane and go into the distance on the distance end of the plane you drag like this you can observe the a minus 87 mm like this you can also give the by the your values also by distance and click on okay i'm giving the 87 on the other side it is created see the object is simply removed by using the axis system with reference of the axis system you can also object and the next one is point to point and the start point and end point two points are required i want to create the point by using the reference element of the x and y how the point is required on the distance of x y i'm giving the distance on the from x to the sum of the distance i'm giving the 200 mm of the distance and the n and i'm changing to the 100 mm and click on okay one of the point is created and onto the x to the sum of the distance 100 and go on to the again i want to create the one of the distance over here of uh, 500 or 50 mm and click on okay two points is created one is from x from from x 50 mm from x 100 mm two points is created i'm giving the you can observe them you can also give the yz also of 100 and the 50 like this i'm deleting and 150 mm like this and click on preview and click on ok the two points is created like this and you can observe the transformation features um, translation and the distance is completed and we want to explain the point to point and the start point you want selecting and the next point is created that is that called end point and click on ok you can observe the 
from difference to the point the object is moved from the uh, with respect to the points this is the point to point and again i'm going to click on the vector definition and go to the start point and the coordinates again and go to the x y z some of the distance is required i'm giving the 100 mm distance and the x is i want to give the x is exactly to the 100 mm and the y and the axis system want to select axis system and click on okay this require the axis system uh, again i am selecting with this you can observe i am selecting the all of the object and this is the model of the object of the two points is created one of the axis system is there you can observe the axis system is there and go on to the and the translation and go on to the rotation over here and click on s object and the axis angle i want to give the axis angle of axis this is the axis system axis i'm selecting the one of the axis of y axis and the angle to some of the change in the degree of 45 degrees see the object is rotated to the 45 with respect to the axis system you can also remove the x y z planes on the hide the objects and you can also create the x axis system and the axis axis two elements and the axis is this one i'm selecting the x axis and the first element this is one of the point and the second element is the second point and click on ok you can observe the with respect to the rotate definition the axis two elements are created by using the point same as before and you can observe and click on ok that will what you created that will exactly on the screen and this is the different types of uh, profiles you can create by using the rotation command and come to the s and go into the three points i want to create the three points over here actually the three points are there first one is that this point the x x y z is the middle point is there i am selecting that that is the called as axis system third point and click on okay so with respect to the three points uh, the object is moved like this these are the different features of the rotation and i want to give the symmetry and click on s and go to the no selection and go to the one of the refraction axis you can the symmetry of the one of the symmetrical object is created by using this simple this is the old symmetry command and the next one is mirror i will explain in the next tutorial go to the reference element and go to the axis system and click on ok simply you can see by using the axis the symmetry is created if you want the x come to the y rotation symmetry is very helpful and you can observe the s option over here and go into the axis system and the symmetry and click on ok over here and next the symmetry option is coming then this is axis to axis system this had required the two axis system already one axis system is there i want to create the one of the different axis system of the new one and go to the axis system insert the any of the axis system on the already the point is created you want to give the x axis to the sum of the distance you can also give the distance also it is the two axis system is required to operate this operation and go to the reference element it asks in the one of the axis system and select that axis system and select the second axis system with respect to the two axis system the object is moved to the with respect to the axis system this is uh, the one of the important uh, tool to develop the models to moving on the axis system also you can also create the two objects in the two axis system also and the axis system is very helpful to move the objects in the different rotations of the surface basic features is very helpful this is the one of the basic tutorials for the beginners in artisan